Hello, everyone. My name is Yuma Tsuboi, and I'm a software engineer at DoorDash. Today, I'm here to talk about how we use Retool at DoorDash. Here are the topics that I'd like to share with you today. First, I'd like to introduce ourselves, who we are and what we do, and then get into the timeline of our adoption of Retool. Then I'd like to get into the challenges that we were facing initially that triggered our adoption, and then demo a couple of apps that helped us navigate through these challenges. And then finally, I will conclude with the major wins that we were able to achieve with Retool. So who are we? DoorDash builds a logistics platform that facilitates last mile deliveries in the most efficient manner possible, connecting consumers, merchants, and drivers. We are a company based in San Francisco in US. Today, we make up 56% of the US food delivery market share, 60% of US convenience delivery market share, and we're expanding to international markets like Canada, Japan, and Australia, and also expanding to new industries like grocery and pharmacy. At Engineering in DoorDash, we work on scaling the real-time delivery system to an international scale. Some of the challenges that we've been uh, facing have been to hire faster and faster to keep up with the business growth while preserving high ownership and autonomy in teams and individual, which is the cornerstone of DoorDash engineering culture. Our adoption of Retool, um, it has been an interesting story so far. DoorDash engineering first learned about Retool through a demo by the Retool CEO, David Sue himself in 2017. That was the first time we had discussion on whether DoorDash should invest in Retool, uh, what our challenges were at the time, and resources that would take for or to make Retool available to at a company-wide level. In 2019, Retool platform was made accessible to all teams to develop internal tools with. Product teams dabbled with it as they saw fit, and two years fast forward to today, Retool has become the home of all internal tools for the Drive team, who now boasts more than 40 internal tools on the Retool platform. Funny thing is that also today, it's DoorDash demoing Retool back to Retool this time. So it's funny how things all go back, come back in circles. So the challenges that uh, were faced by the Drive team, first of all, Drive team works on Drive API, which is DoorDash's B2B API solution. And the team is composed of about 30 backend engineers. In this team's case, um, engineering hours were being wasted on making manual interventions, such as writing one-off scripts to handle customer inbounds. The front-end resource was very limited on the team because of the nature of the product, uh, which is an API. And the low overhead cost to learn retool were the main reasons that drove their aggressive adoption. At DoorDash, we push hard for operational excellence. I, and I would like to share some of the tools the Drive team made using Retool to help ensure that operators have the right tools for the task at hand. The first app that I'd like to show is our partnership app. Partnership here means contracts. And so operators and account managers uses this tool to maintain contracts with our restaurants. Food delivery is a operation heavy process that could go wrong in many ways. Our operators ensure great user experience by making manual interventions with this tool whenever there are errors with our automated systems. I'm going to open the app. And also uh, another thing to add is that this is one of our central administration apps um, that allows operators support in real time. And so this is uh, one of our biggest applications of our retool. And so first thing that you'll notice in this app is that we have a login button. These were implemented to control access to sensitive data, and we were talking about contract in this case. So it's really important that we uh, restrict who can access these tools. The UI is relatively simple. You can add the ID of a business. So I have a test business here that I could demo with, and it fetches the configurations that are saved in our backend. I can make edits um, as I want to. So in this case, let me increase the maximum delivery distance that's possible for a restaurant, let's say, to 7,000 meters, seven kilometers radius. And then I would hit update in order to see that my updates were applied in the backend. 
we have grown this tool um, by adding new tabs in order to make this kind of operation on different sets of configuration and also to make these kind of operations in bulk. With the partnership app, operators are empowered to correct any misconfigurations that may occur due to systematic error or customer inbounds. And this also reduced their reliance on engineering. Another app that plays a big role in our business is the promotion app. Promotion is a powerful way for restaurants to increase their sales. Marketing team uses this app to run promotions from at any scale from small to nationwide based on the request from restaurants. For this tool, we, this tool follows a request approval flow. And so we have one tool to requ make requests to create promotions and another to approve those requests. So here I will open up the request creation tool for promotion. And here, as you can see, access is limited by user again, and users can enter a title. So let's say retool demo. I will set it to a date that's in the future, let's say April 11 of next year to April 12 of next year, uh, who they are for. Um, this is a test ID that I have ready. And users can fill in these inputs. Let's see, test, input date negotiate as today. And they would click submit in order to create that request. Users can view it by typing when that promotion is going to be applied. So let's put April 11 to 12 again. in order to see that that request has indeed been created. And then there's another side to this app, which is the approver flow that I um, discussed earlier. Um, that one I cannot share due to compliance reasons because it would share all the requests that's made today in production. Um, but that tool will be used by accounting to make sure that that promotion is indeed approved and applied. So with the promotion app, operators can ensure that the restaurants have a way to do business or a way to do marketing when doing business with DoorDash Drive. And finally, I'd like to talk about the wins we achieved with Retool. Firstly, we were able to create internal tools very easily. Its shallow learning curve had our backend engineers spinning up UIs very quickly. And this reduced the load on hiring because we didn't explicitly need to hire for front-end resources. We also found that the version control and permission control in Retool helped scale the usage of Retool along with the team growth. Secondly, we were able to save engineering hours. We were able to decouple engineers from operational tasks by providing operators a self-serve tool. And this allowed engineers to focus on engineering and operators to focus on operations. And most importantly, we were able to further maintain operational excellence by increasing the operator's autonomy and helping them move faster. And that concludes my presentation. Thank you for your time.